I hope we get some good ones. Look, it's Al Foil. Aluminum foil always comes in handy, so I'm glad I got him. And here's Danny Danish. I think I found so many of these now, but I don't mind. The more the merrier. Let's see who our final Pokemon is. Whoa, this one's really cool. This is Zeep Strika, and it's the final form of Blitzel. This has got to be the coolest zebra I've ever seen. Also, doesn't it kind of remind you of an evil Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? I don't know why I thought that. I found so many cool new toys today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Hey everyone, awesome Disney toys here, and today we're gonna play this really awesome game called Pop the Pig. We just feed this pig hamburgers until his belly pops. You just roll the die, pick the right color burger, and feed the pig. There's a number on each burger, so you press the pig's head down every time you feed him. And we just watch his belly get bigger, bigger, and bigger! The way you win this game is if the pig's belly pops open on your turn. This sounds like so much fun! Alright, let's open this box up. Here are all the hamburgers. Here are the instructions. And this is Pop the Pig. Ooh, his head is all squishy. Let's check out the belly. Ooh! It feels like I'm touching my own belly. Here's a spatula. So his head and his belly are all squishy, and the rest of his body is made out of plastic. Here's the dye we'll be using. And here are all the burgers. It looks like we get four burgers for each color. So we got the purple there, green, yellow, and red. Just to do a quick recap about the game, we roll this dice, and let's say we roll purple. Then we randomly grab one of the purple hamburgers, look at the bottom, and there's gonna be a number. That's how many times you press down on the pig's head. If we roll red, and we pick three, we press down three times on his head. Pretty simple, right? Huh, <sighs> I forgot I can't play this game on my own. I'm all ready to play, but I need an opponent. Yo! I'll challenge you, dude! I totally rocket popped the pig, so you're going down! Long time no see, Telebrosian. Hey, hey, what did I tell you? I go by Telebro now. Okay, okay, Telebro. The rules say the youngest player goes first, so that's you. Yeah, let's do this! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first annual Pop the Pig competition! It's Awesome Disney Toys versus Telebro! Woo! Hey, Awesome Disney Toys! I know you're my friend, but I'm not going easy on you! Okay, we'll see about that. Let me give you the die. Hey, are you sure you'll be able to roll the die? It's almost bigger than you! Hey, hey, that is not cool, man. I got this! Hey Celebro, I'm new to this game, but what did you just roll? So if you roll a multicolor, it's pretty sick. You could pretty much choose any burger you want. I'll go with the green. Nice! Two! Feed that to the pig, and then you press down twice. I'm up. 
I rolled purple, so I'll need to get a purple hamburger. That's right. Oh, nice. I got three. Feed that. One, two, three. You guys can't really see it yet, but the belly is growing. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's totally bogus, dude. Wait, what's wrong? What's this X mean? If you roll an X, you gotta skip your turn. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I keep getting purple. One. <laughs> you only got one. No worries, no worries. One. All right, it's your turn. Yeah! Oh, my bad, bro. You got green. Woo! Four! Oh, nice job. One, two, three, four. His belly's getting bigger. I got yellow this time. That's a little hard to see, but it's a four. Feed it to Pop. Wait, oh no! It looks like the pig is eating some Shopkin blind bags too. Wait, Pop, that's not for you. Hey, fat pig, how dare you eat my Shopkin pals? You know what? I'm gonna rescue them. I'm gonna have to pop that belly. Oh man, look at that belly grow. Telebro rolled yellow. That's a three. Oh, it's feeling pretty stiff. Okay, my turn. Oh, yellow again. This time it's two. This pig sure loves eating hamburgers. Oh, whoops. No worries, you rolled green. And this is one. Oh, nice! I got the multicolor. I'll go with red. Two for me. Telebro got purple. Oh, we got four. Wow, I totally thought the pig was gonna pop there. Nice, I got red again. And this is one of my favorites, Ice Cream Dream. I'm gonna guess she's some lemon flavor with some pink sprinkles on top. Yum! Time to open up our first Pokemon surprise egg. Ooh! We got Absol. This is a dark type Pokemon. Give this video a thumbs up if you're a fan. Absol doesn't have a normal evolve, but if you give him an Absolite, it can Mega Evolve and turn into Mega Absol. Cool. Let's see what's inside this giant Spider-Man egg. Whoa! A bunch of candy! And a toy! It looks like we get a bunch of Lemonhead candy. And we get two identical Spider-Man stickers, so you could share with someone. And we get this awesome Spider-Man keychain. Let's open up another Pokemon surprise egg.
Cool, we got Lickitung. That's a funny Pokemon name. Fun fact, Lickitung's tongue is over 6 foot 6. That's twice as long as its body. That's so crazy. I also put the Minecraft minifigures in because I know a lot of you like this. Awesome! We got a brown cow! And if you guys play Minecraft, you know cows love wheat! Oh, nice! I love this trio! Let's open up the Penguins of Madagascar egg! Woohoo! More candy! It looks like we get a bunch more lemon heads. I'm okay with that! And we even get two identical stickers! Who's your favorite penguin? And here's our awesome keychain! I have two keychains now! Let's see what Pokemon's in here! Nice! This is Machamp! He's the final form of Machamp, and if you guys are fans, you guys know he's one of the original 150 Pokemon. Time to see which My Little Pony character we get here. I hope it's one we don't have. High five! We got Royal Riff! We don't have her! And here's the Neon version. It looks pretty cool. Royal Riff makes up songs to sing together with friends. She would be a great person to have at a campfire. Let's find more Pokemon! Awesome! We found Dragon Knight! He's the final form of Dratini. I know he has a bulky build, but Dragon Knight could actually fly faster than the speed of sound. He can travel roughly 1,556 miles per hour. That's pretty insane! Time to open up some more Shopkins. Ooh! A Shopkins I don't have! It's Poppycorn! Poppycorn is great for the movies! I love to put extra butter and salt! What about you guys? And here's Silly Chili! Remember, if you eat something too spicy, your face might turn like this too! It's okay, Silly Chili! We gotta catch them all! Cool! This is one of the newer Pokemon. It's Panpour. Panpour is one of the three elemental monkeys. And I'm sure you could tell by the color, but Panpour's element is water. Time to see what's inside this Hello Kitty cupcake case. Ooh, a bunch of candy! And it's shaped like cupcakes too! I think this will be really good! The case is really cute too! More Pokémon! Whoa, this is Hariyami! 
Look how big his hands are! This Pokemon is based off a sumo wrestler. Can you see the resemblance? I'm really excited to see what's inside this SpongeBob egg. SpongeBob candy! Nice! We get some tropical fruit lollipops and some Spongebob candy and jelly beans. We got a nice variety of candy. Time for another Pokemon! Whoa, this one looks mystical! This Pokemon's called Suicune and it's actually a legendary water beast. I wouldn't want to mess with this Pokemon. Let's go back to one of the classics. A My Little Pony Fashion. Hey, it's Applejack! She's missing her cowgirl hat, but her braids are done really nicely. Let's see what's inside this Jake and the Neverland Pirate's egg. I can't complain. More Lemonhead Candy! This one's very awesome! Alright, I'm really excited to see which Pokemon this is! It's Venusaur! One of the original Pokemon! Unfortunately, I didn't like playing Bulbasaur. Did you guys? Let's see what cute pet we get here. Cool! It's the friendliest bumblebee you'll see. Don't worry guys, this one won't sting you. I hope I can collect all of these. I have a good feeling about this Pokemon. Yay! We got Squirtle! After Charmander, I definitely would go Squirtle. Our final Shopkins! I hope we get some good ones! It's actually bigger than I thought it would be. Ooh, here's a bag of fabrics. and a little bag of accessories. Let's take a closer look at this pillow. It's super soft. I wish you guys could touch it. Hmm, this tag is getting in the way. I'm gonna cut it off. There we go. Now let's see what color fabrics they've given us. Whoa, that's a lot of fabric. See what's in this little bag. Cool, here are the sprinkles. They're super shiny. It comes with two purple ones, blue, yellow, and pink. And here's a tool we'll be using to push down the fabric. It's pretty cute. It has a little flower on it. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, this paper is important. It tells us what colors go with what numbers. One is white, two is shiny white, three is pink, and four is shiny pink, five is blue, six is purple, and seven is shiny purple. Whoa, and this set also comes with a catalog with different toys. Maybe one day I'll do some of them. Okay, I'm gonna keep this close. It's gonna help me separate the fabrics. This one's number one. Here's number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. 
And number seven. This one's super shiny. All right, time for the fun part. We're gonna take number one and push it in the hole that says number one. And then number two, we'll put it in the ones that say number two. Pretty easy, right? And we just keep doing this until our top layer is done. This layer looks like it's vanilla. I love vanilla ice cream, especially on top of a chocolate chip cookie. Have you guys ever tried it? If you haven't, you definitely should. We're almost done with this layer. Last one. Got it. Cool, I just love how the shiny ones stand out. Now let's do the next layer. This one has number three. And number four. We just do the same thing and push the fabric down into the correlating number. I bet this layer is strawberry. How many of you guys like strawberry ice cream? Playing with this is really making me crave some ice cream. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite flavor. Looks like our strawberry layer is just about done. And here we have it, our vanilla and strawberry ice cream. Time for the third layer. This one's actually gonna be all blue. Hmm, I wonder what flavor this could be. I'm gonna say it's mint chocolate chip. What do you guys think? It's the right color, isn't it? Yum, our blue layer is done. Now for our last layer. We're gonna be using number six and number seven. This is the biggest layer. I hope you guys are ready. Oh, the purple actually kind of matches the tool we're using. Hmm, this purple layer. It's probably grape. Yuck, I don't think that sounds very good at all. But I do still love ice cream. I'm so conflicted. How about you guys? We're almost done. Just a few more. Woo, we're all done. That was a lot of work. Actually, there's one hiding. We can't miss any. There we go. Nice, look at how colorful our ice cream is. Let me know in the comments which one's your favorite layer. I'm really feeling the blue layer, actually. Now what's an ice cream without some sprinkles? First, we'll use this pretty blue one. And stick it right there. I can't get enough of these sprinkles. I want to place them everywhere. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. And here we have it, our finished pillow. Yum, I just love ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. This set was so much fun. 
This is my first time even playing with one of these toys. If you guys want me to do more videos with these plush craft toys, give this video a thumbs up. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks! Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here, and guess what? I have a bunch of surprise toys for you today. I got some Pokemon, Hello Kitty, Spider-Man, My Little Pony, Littlest Pet Shop, and a bunch more. I can't wait to show you guys. Let's start off with the Hello Kitty fashions. Can't go wrong with these. We got Hello Kitty with their yellow and red outfit. And look at her pretty red bow. She's really cute when you squeeze her. I'll move on to another classic, the Shopkins baskets. These are always awesome too. Our first Shopkins is Dishy Liquid. She'll make all of your dirty- Uh oh. Our jalapeno's gone too. But no worries. So we'll place it back onto our pizza. And it's back to normal. But this time we'll share our cheese slice pizza with you guys. That's the Play-Doh Twirl and Top Pizza Shop playset. It's super fun and very easy to use. Become your own chef by using all 12 toppings in the four colors that's provided in this playset and let your imagination run free. We hope that you enjoyed this video and please subscribe for more videos to come. Thank you! Hey everyone! Uh, some Disney toys here! And today I'm super excited to bring you another plush craft set! We're going to be making a cupcake pillow! Here's the back of the box! I can't wait to get started! We'll start by opening the box. Oh, there's all of our fabrics! And our pillow! It might look a little plain now, but we're gonna color it up! Hmm, let's cut this tag off. Ooh, here's a bag of accessories! Hmm, I wonder what these little pins are. Oh, I think they're to stick on our jewels. We'll just set them right there. And here's the jewels. And our little pen. And this paper shows us what color goes with what number. We'll keep that close by. Alright, let's dump out all of our fabrics. This one's number one. This one's number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. And the pins are number eight. I went ahead and separated all the colors. All right, it's time to start. Let's do number one and two first. Here's number one. We just push it through the hole like this. This is going to be the base of our cupcake. I love cupcakes! Let me know what your favorite cupcake is. I think mine's chocolate. Here's number two. I just love this color. It's so pretty. We just continue doing number one and two. Alternating colors like this. Phew! 
we're all done. Now let's move on to number three. It's this pretty pink one. We just do the same thing and use our pen to push the fabric through the holes. We have to be careful whenever we see a number eight, we have to stop and put a pin in. That's where one of our jewels is gonna go. And after we put in the pin, we just continue. More strawberry frosting! Now that our strawberry frosting is done, I'm gonna move on to number six and seven. Number six is this shiny one. I know we're going out of order, but I think it'll be easier this way. And number seven is this pink shiny one. We just keep alternating till we finish the strip. There we go. And we're gonna be doing the same thing on top, bordering our pink frosting. Last one. Nice, we're done with six and seven. Now we're gonna do number four. It's the white fabric. Mmm, I bet this white layer is vanilla frosting. Yum! This layer has a lot of number eights, so don't forget to put the pins in. I think what I should have done is put all the pins in first. Well, it's not too late. We'll start now. And then we just continue our vanilla frosting. Let me know in the comments what your favorite frosting is. Oh, there's some more number sixes up here. We'll just fill that in. And last but not least, number five. This is gonna be our cherry on top. Mmm, <laughs> this cupcake's looking really good. I love how colorful it is. Now that our cupcake's done, let's put on some accessories. We just take these jewels and then stick them on wherever our number eights were. Those are those purple pins. Hmm, I think these kind of look like leaves. Maybe it wasn't a cherry after all. Maybe it was a flower. We'll keep sticking these jewels on. They're kind of like sprinkles. Yay, now our pillow's all done. This set was so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone, awesome Disney toys here. And today, I'm super excited to bring you a plush craft set. We're gonna be making an ice cream pillow. Ooh, it looks like it has some sprinkles on it. I love sprinkles. Here's the back of the box. Wow, look at all those dots. I can't wait to get started. Let's start by opening the box. 